the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 222, Obadiah. Obadiah, when old brothers face hardish. The judgment of God was declared against Edomites, who rejoiced rather than grieved over the trouble their brothers went through on the day when South Judah was destroyed. First point, the story of Jacob and Esau is connected all the way to Jesus and Herod. The relationship between Jacob's descendants, who became the Israelites, and Esau's descendants, who became the Edomites, originated from Jacob and Esau. The conflict between the two nations began after the Israelites came out from Egypt and when they tried to cross the land of the Edomites. It continued to the New Testament while King Herod the Edomite, who governed over Judah, tried to kill Jesus. Second point, through Obadiah, God declared the fall of Edom due to their arrogance. The name Obadiah meant someone who obeyed and a servant of the Lord. The Bible records over 10 people who were called Obadiah. God told the prophet Obadiah the reason Edom was to perish, and the first reason was because of their arrogance. The people of Edom lived on Mount Seir. Seir was made up of mountains and caves and had many hiding places. Their capital city in particular was geographically priced so that foreign invaders could not find them. Because of this, the people of Edom were arrogant and thought that they were invincible. Also, due to their location, they lived with the benefits of international trade, which made them wealthy. Third point. The reason Edom had to fall was because they did not help their brother nation. The second reason God gave to Obadiah for the fall of Edom was because they did not help their brother nation. God pointed out their evil behavior. The first was that they did not lament at the fall of South Judah but were happy about it. The second was that they raided South Judah along with Babylon. The third was that they did not help the people of South Judah escape, but later rebuilt them to Babylon. The people of Edom had a hard time consuming God's judgment, as they had forgotten that Jacob and Esau were brothers in the first place. They had lived as independent nations, but God reminded them that they were brother nations. Fourth point, Edom, who helped Babylon strike South Judah, ended up being attacked by Babylon. Now God declared the absolute fall of Edom to Obadiah. God proclaimed that Babylon would come and completely raid everything from Edom and it would become a desolate land. God declared his day. Later, Amos, Zephaniah, and Joel also proclaimed the Lord's day. Fifth point, the story of Obadiah sits between the nations of Jacob and Esau with the Babylon Empire in between. The book of Obadiah is a story about the nations of Jacob and Esau with the Babylonian Empire sitting in between. Obadiah rebuked the people of Edom through the perspective of kingdom of priests. Likewise, the book of Philemon is about the story of Philemon and Onesimus with the Roman Empire sitting in between. In other words, the Bible is about a kingdom of priests and the kingdom of God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. 
And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zo does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.